In this video, we're going to learn how to sync our audio with our video within seconds. In order to do this, we're going to need two things. First, we need the original audio, which we will call in this video the source audio. And usually this is just the audio that is recorded internally in your microphone. And two, we need the other audio files that were recorded with an external microphone. To keep it simple, in this example, we're going to be using one source audio and one external audio. But if you need to, you can use multiple audio files. We're going to put everything on our timeline below each other. Each audio file needs a dedicated audio track. Now that we've done that, let's select the audio layers and then right click. Let's click synchronize. As you can see, there are a few different options, but we're going to be selecting the last one. What you want to do here is you want to make sure that you select the track that your source audio is on. Usually that will be track number one Then press OK. After a few seconds, Premiere Pro will have synced the selected audio files. Now to check if it's synced perfectly, we can either play through it or we can look at our timeline. So let's zoom in on our timeline by pressing the plus key on our keyboard. And then we're going to make the tracks bigger by double clicking on them so we can see the waveforms a little bit better and we can see if they are identical. If the source audio on track one is low, which means that you cannot really see the waveform that well, then hit G on your keyboard and then adjust the gain by let's say 10 decibels just to make it more visible. Do not, I repeat, do not do this with your good audio files, the files that you're actually going to use. In this case, this is just our source audio, which we will get rid of in a second. So it's fine to do it, but don't do it with your actual audio files. If it turns out that it's not synced perfectly, which is the case sometimes, this is what you can do. One way of fixing this is by aligning the tracks manually, but you'll see that as you're doing this, you can only move it frame by frame. And sometimes this is too big of the gap. In order to move a file inside of that frame, we're going to click on the hamburger menu and then click on show audio time units. Now, as you can see, you can move the audio clips around way more accurately, but there is actually a way faster and way easier way to do this. We're going to look for a spike in both of our audio files. And the easiest way to do this is if you clap when you're recording, which is something that I always recommend because it makes it easier to sync up, or you can just look for any other spike in both of the audio tracks. Once you've found it in the first track, hit M on your keyboard to create a marker and repeat this step for the second audio track. We can now try syncing it again automatically by selecting both of the tracks again, right click, hit synchronize, and then select marker. Or, and this might actually be a little bit quicker, simply align those markers yourself. We're not done yet because we still have to get rid of our source audio. Right now, if we look on their timeline, we can see a little V and A, which indicates that these two layers are linked. To unlink these layers, right click and then click on unlink or simply press Control L or Command L. Now, as you can see, those letters in between brackets have disappeared and this is when you can delete the audio file. Then to link the video file, with the new audio file, you can select them both by drawing a box over them or hitting shift and then click on both of the layers. And then again, hit control L or command L to link them up. Move this audio file to track one. And now there's one more thing to do, and that is to really spice up our audio. And you can learn how to do that by watching this video right here or watch this video right here that YouTube thinks is best for you.